Okay, so we're gonna do some more riding around on the monorail SLS in Las Vegas. That's a real good, uh, real good view of what it looks like. And I'm gonna get in the very end car here. So, uh, so what the heck? I'll just take you guys for a ride. We're starting off right here at MGM Grand. Okay. That's on the south end of the uh, south end of the strip, and we are uh, sorry, <laughs> and we are heading northbound towards Fremont Street area, and it ends at the SLS Hotel where I'm staying. And as you can see, uh, these monorails are quite handy for people with the cart. So uh, I'm glad I was able to demonstrate that for you. The doors are closed. And hope Please they didn't mind. Here. So, all right, here we go. Please this thing really goes fast. Next stop northbound is Bally's and Paris You know what Las I'm going to do? Station. I'm going to make a video of going all the Our way to the end the non-stop without it cutting off. So I'll just take you off for the whole the ride. I won't pause it at all. If my phone doesn't North cut out on me. Paris Hotel and Casino and City Center, which includes Aria Resort and Casino, Vidara Hotel and Spa, Mandarin Oriental, Beer Towers, and Crystal's Retail District. With its cutting-edge automatic control system, the Las Vegas monorail runs without anyone at the wheel. Now that's the best designated driver we can think of in a city where the party never ends. They just got through saying there's no driver. So, there's probably a driver that's, uh, that's, uh, at a command station, you know? Because there are cameras in every car, so they can make sure everybody's safe, you know? I'm sure. And then there's also, like, a emergency door release and then a call button call somebody that looks like Paris right there now arriving at Bally's and Paris Las Vegas station Some cool tennis courts there. This one. All right. So the first station was the MG MGM Grand Station. Station. Now we're at Bally's Paris Station. Okay. Bally's Paris Station. And the next one is Flamingo Caesar's Palace Station. And I will know exactly how long this uh, monorail trip is because I'm going to take you guys with me on the whole thing without pausing if it's possible. Please hold the handrail firmly at all times. Next stop northbound is Flamingo Caesars Palace Station. Our next stop is also the closest station to Caesars Palace featuring the Forum Shops and the Palestine Theater. It's February, so that's why all these pools are closed. There's the high roller right there. I'll get some good shots of those pods that hold about 40 people, I think, with a bar in them. Now arriving at Flamingo Caesar's Palace Station. All right, so if you're at Flamingo Caesar Palace Station, uh, there is a bunch of places. Flamingo, Hilton, Cromwell, High Roller, Link, and Western Next Las stop, Vegas. Here is the Link Station. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> and as you see, easy cart access, that's great. Can even bring on the thing. Flamingo Caesar's Palace. So far, we're five minutes into the ride. Actually, the ride's probably a little less because I started the, the, the video like a minute before. Uh, a minute before uh, I got on the train. Anyway, check out this high roller. Observation wheel. That's what it's called. That's uh, off the strip. That's called off the strip. Okay, there we go. Yeah, pod. Now arriving at Harris, the Link Station. Okay. So the Link, there's this little street that goes from the strip to the uh, to this high roller over there and it's called uh it's called off the strip cool little restaurants and stuff in there uh anyway this is here is the link high roller station and it looks like some construction going on here trying to look to see what that kind of thing that looks like it might be a uh, parking garage no, I know I don't I don't know no idea please stand clear anyway another view of the high roller please hold the handrail firmly at all times next stop northbound they're not kidding either you better hold that thing Sometimes this thing hits turbo mode and just hauls ass. Takes off. That's where we're going next. Flamingo Caesar's Palace. The West End. Oh wait, no, I think we passed that one already. Oh no, 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 we're going this way. Yeah, Las Vegas Convention Center, that's next. Sorry. Courtyard, Marriott, Embassy Suite, Las Vegas Convention Center, Mardi Gras Hotel, Renaissance Hotel, Residence Inn. If you see any unattended baggage or suspicious activity, Please report it to a monorail official on any of the monorail stations. There's Wynn and Encore and Trump and Palazzo. 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 I should have bought my brought my little tripod that holds my phone. It would have been much easier to to make this video smoother. I'm, I've got a, a, a little tripod now that holds the phone. But I actually didn't even think I'd be making this video. But I said, what the heck. I've been stuck in Vegas for 10 days. And... Uh, <clears throat> I'm glad it's Vegas and not some other boring place. But I figured I'd get some YouTube content for this channel. And uh, I'm doing a lot of hotel reviews, doing a lot of pictures that I'll turn into videos later. I just hardly ever have time to upload stuff. So what I figured out when I make a video on my phone, I just 
when I get Wi-Fi connection, like in one of these casinos or something, I just hit share and stick it on YouTube and maybe just put a quick label on it. And then at least it's uploaded. And then I can go back later and edit all the uh, info and add uh, links and other pertinent information and the links to all my social media. Not, not that anybody's friends with me on social media and I'm just basically talking to myself right here. But uh, at least I have like 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. I see some people talking like they've got a crowd of millions with real professional looking videos and they got like seven followers. But hey, uh, you know what? I don't even know why I have so many followers myself. But now I'm gonna start making a better effort to make some decent content. I mean, I'm not rich, so I never get to do anything really fancy. But uh, no, I, I try to have Las fun convention center station. with whatever I do. There's the Las Vegas Convention Center. Okay, so this station is called this Las Vegas Convention Center Station. Next stop, Westgate Las Vegas Station. What is that thing? It looks serious. That's just the part for the TVMs. Oh. He gets his own valet ride. The doors are closing. Please stand clear. Okay, so we're 11 minutes 40 seconds into the video. And uh, look at those spikes on there to keep birds from pooping or landing on it. And there's poop all over them so they don't care and poop anyway. That's where I'm staying tonight, right there. It's called Westgate. I don't know what it's gonna be all about, but that's actually the next station. And that's really why I got the monorail uh, ticket for for uh, Unlimited. Uh, there's a Las Vegas Convention Center too. Oh, the whole thing is, I guess, yeah. That's a big convention center, that's cool. So anyway, Westgate's where I'm staying tonight. I've heard it's a little bit older of a place, but still cool nonetheless and i gotta tell you guys uh on this trip of all the hotels i've stayed at my favorite one by far the hotel itself was trump and uh my second favorite and and it's nice and cool and it's called sls and my least favorite so far uh is stratosphere and the tower is extremely cool at Stratosphere, okay? I recommend everybody going up there. If you have a room key, it's five bucks to get in. I think if you say you're going to the restaurant, it's free to get in. But if you're just going up there and want to go to the observation deck, I think they charge 30 bucks to go up there. I saved my room key in case I want to go back. So, uh, but I might try the restaurant approach first. So this is where I'm going to be staying tonight at the West Gate. This monorail continues northbound. So it's cool that it's cool that there is a uh, monorail right there. Uh, it's really easy to get on at SLS where I was staying at. They just have like a walkway, really convenient. So just like I said on my last video, I think this whole trip is going to take 15 minutes because I'm uh, 14 minutes into this video. And we're at the second to the last stop. The last stop is where I got on at, and that's SLS Station. The doors are closing. Please stand clear. Okay. Please hold the handrail firmly at all times. Next stop northbound is SLS Station. Our next stop is a closed station to the I don't know what the name of that hotel is. That might be... Well, there's the SLS. Some of these, I don't know what the names of them are. They might even be condos. I don't know. So it's 15 minutes now. I don't know 
know what the name of this place is, but it's cool looking. It might be a condo. I don't think it's a hotel. I have no idea. Now arriving at SLS Let's see Station. See the mountains back there. This is the last stop northbound. Okay. So 15 minute ride from start to finish. And uh that's it. This monorail continues southbound. Next stop, Western Las Vegas Station. <clears throat> okay. So that's it. That's how you do it. And uh Life is good. Sixteen minute video including all the stuff uh, before and this little walk after. But to get one from one end to the other, fifteen minutes. There you go. I'm walk over here to the SLS. It's where my car's parked and I'll go check in at uh, Westgate. And uh, <clears throat> y'all can find my hotel reviews. I've got a playlist. And when I uh, figure out how to do it, I'm going to start adding all of my hotel reviews over the years to my playlist. So, uh, to a hotel room playlist. See, when I made my YouTube channel, I should have uh, divided it up into sections like motorcycle, truck driving, world traveling hotels eating food restaurants stuff like that but i didn't divide it up so now i have i've got a couple other channels that i'm working on including a pig farm macintosh family farms in the philippines that i've got going on and uh that's got its own channel anyway this is uh, sls over here And, uh, and this is the walkway to the SLS. It's just literally, I mean, not, not, I mean, it's right there. And then they got an escalator. Very nice hotel. I recommend it. And with the monorail, you're boom, you're right down there on the strip. So, uh, Anybody that wants to get a decently priced, nice hotel room with a unique floor plan. Uh, and you can see about that on my video. Then I recommend highly the uh, SLS. And they've got a restaurant in there. I haven't eaten there. It's called Bizarre Meats. But I did a walkthrough of the restaurant before they were open and they and made a nice video of what it looks like but all the locals and so many other people who aren't locals who've eaten there have told me that that's probably their favorite place to eat in Vegas so if that many people tell me it's their favorite place then uh, yeah. must be good <laughs> I'm walking pretty fast so if I'm breathing hard I am sorry <clears throat> but I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to get into the SLS from the uh, monorail and I'm gonna stop this minute I mean this video right at 20 minutes. There's the stratosphere. Which the hotel, I'm sorry, it's dated bad. Maybe not all the rooms, but the room I was in was linoleum in the bathroom. And uh, but that tower's cool. There's a ride where people get on a cable up here and they drop them all the way to the ground and then they get off on the ground. That's nuts. Anyway, so you just saw, it's two minutes to walk from the monorail into SLS. And uh, I will be ending this video here right at 20 minutes. So, <laughs> 